Speed boots that aren't socks. I know, I couldn't believe it either. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the brand new and limited edition Adidas X99.1, a football boot that is clearly inspired by the 2015 99 gram Addy Zero. However, unlike that boot, it does not weigh 99 grams. It actually weighs a lot more a lot more. Which sounds like a bad thing, but it's not, because the thing about the 99 gram Addy Zero is that while it was super light, 99 grams to be specific, it wasn't actually the most wearable pair of football boots, which most people don't know, because they weren't actually able to wear them. One, because they were extremely limited, and two, because they only made them in one size. That, however, is not the case with the X99.1. They made it in every size, and actually, in comparison to pretty much all the speed boots currently available, for those that really miss the F50 Addy Zero, the days where speed boots weren't all knitted sock boot upper things, this is actually really, really good. So with that in mind, we're going to take a closer look at the X99.1. I'm going to talk about why I think it's so good and why it is more or less the unofficial return of the F50 Addy Zero series, as well as take a look at how they fit and feel on feet. So if you're interested in learning more, please stick around, watch the entire review. And if you're interested in a pair for yourself, while this is limited edition, they have not sold out. They're available in pretty much every single size. So if you want to get a pair, you can click the little pop-up in the corner of the screen or the first link down below that's going to take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive sr for you coupon codes you'll be able to pick these up below their normal 250 dollars retail price if you guys do end up enjoying this video and perhaps would like to see more reviews of other limited edition boots on the channel don't forget to support this one with a like and if you're new here watching for the first time and don't want to miss out on daily sort of content for me make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you get notified when the next new video goes live so included with the boots typical of a lot of limited edition adidas releases is a white box with the limited collection branding and for anyone that cares here's a quick look at the label notice how i conveniently ordered the wrong size and included inside the box is a string bag that is pretty unextraordinary because it's the exact same string bag you'd get with an x19 plus which isn't limited edition black bag mesh material black strings the x and adidas logos there on the front in white it gets a string bag score of two ounces out of 99 grams. As for the boots themselves, the upper clearly takes inspiration from the 99 gram Addy Zero, being made from a super thin synthetic material that actually has a translucent element to it. So it's basically this very thin kind of grid textile material that is covered in a very thin layer of plastic or polyurethane, and then it's internally reinforced by this pattern that you see on the outside of the boot because that base synthetic is actually translucent. The inside material actually being kind of like a synthetic suede type, but it's still very, very thin. In terms of giving you that pingy barefoot sensation, there really isn't much else that's thinner than these currently available. And then you can see along the outside edge, pretty much around the entire football boot, there's a little bit of an extra layer there that actually reminds me a little bit of the F50 Addy Zero Prime. As you can see, the upper is extremely pliable and admittedly it does have a little bit of a plasticky sensation to it because it's just that type of material. If you're expecting a sock-like feel, buy a pair of Mercurials, not these. However, what I love about this type of material is it's a style of speed boot that simply doesn't exist anymore. And a lot of people who were into older Mercurials and older F50 Addy Zero models, you're really, really going to like how this feels. Because like I said, it's kind of a style of football boot that has more or less been discontinued. Also, it's kind of a similar type of upper to what we currently have on the Laceless X19 Plus. There are definitely similar elements in terms of how everything has been put together. And I guess you can credit the original 99 gram Addy Zero for the evolution of this tech within the Adidas brand. But as a whole, I just really like the more standard, just kind of a focus on being thin and light upper that we have with this boot rather than trying to make everything into a sock. It's also refreshing to see a regular central lacing system and an independent tongue rather than yet another one piece upper. And there's definitely nothing wrong with one piece uppers. In fact, most of them are really, really good as far as the design of the rest of the boot is concerned. But for this type of synthetic, I really appreciate that they've gone for something that I don't necessarily want to call more traditional, but I guess in comparison to most modern boots, 
these days, this is kind of a little bit old school. Moving to the rear, you'll find that the boots feature a pretty standard low cut construction with a little bit of an extended back. Again, very reminiscent of the F50 Addy Zero days. It does have the external heel counter because the sole plate is taken directly off of the current X lineup, the speed frame with the FGAG stud pattern. And then internally, the heel liner is a really soft synthetic suede material with a surprising amount of padding. So despite the boots being very, very thin, the comfort and lockdown through the heel is actually quite good. The insoles are fully removable. And as you can see, just like the 99 gram Addy Zero, the speed of light is listed there through the midfoot. However, that does not change the fact that this is just a regular pair of lightweight insoles from Adidas made from a single layer of of blue foam with perforations throughout and a mesh liner on top. Moving to the base, just like an F50 Addy Zero, you will find a sprint frame construction. This, however, technically being a speed frame taken directly from the current X19.1 and X19 Plus, which are kind of more or less the modern day F50s. It gives it a nice solid base, but also good flexibility and obviously makes for a nice lightweight construction in general. Then of course you do have their FGAG stud pattern, which I actually think is really, really good. You kind of have these triangular shaped bladed studs in the forefoot that provide more aggressive traction than you might expect. And then more rounded studs in the heel. Overall, it's a really good stud pattern, not as aggressive as I think it could be, but as a whole, there's not much that I can complain about here. So obviously these boots take inspiration from the 99 gram Addy Zero, which was famously only 99 grams. However, they only made them in one size, that being a size nine US. These are a 10 US because I accidentally ordered the wrong size. However, in general, they weigh more than the 99 gram Addy Zero, despite being the X99.1. It's kind of a confusing thing that Adidas has done here, but what else is new? In a size 10 US, the X99.1 weighs in at 7.05 ounces, the equivalent of exactly 200 grams. So to keep things simple, this is basically double the weight of the 99 gram Addy Zero, which sounds kind of bad, but it's not because this is basically one of the lightest speed boots on the market right now. And if you like that lightweight feel, especially what we used to get from the F50 Addy Zero series, these aren't as light as some of the early F50s, but they're definitely nice and light on feet. So I've swapped out the stock white laces for some Pinkberry Reflective SR4U replacement laces that accent really nicely with the pink adidas logos you'll find on the tongue as well as on the heel makes them a little bit different if you like to add a splash of color it's a great way to change up the style of your boots in a very inexpensive way so if you're looking to do that with yours the website to visit is www.sr4ulaces.com there'll be a little pop-up on screen as well as a link down below in the description so if you're interested in some be sure to go ahead and check that out on feet the x99.1 really reminds me of some of the older f50 addy zero models in regards to having a thin synthetic upper rather than being a mesh base or knitted upper that we get on so many speed boots these days from adidas as well as other brands it has a very kind of traditional feel to it in regards to having that deep central lacing system that i think allows for a really really nice fit it is a synthetic material it does have more of a plasticky construction to it but by no means does it feel stiff or rigid it actually moves very nicely with your foot and you can see creases quite a lot but that's not something that you necessarily feel on your feet or on the ball. It really does have this super premium, kind of like you aren't wearing any boots at all barefoot feel, which I think is what a lot of people miss about thin synthetic speed boots, which is exactly what these are. The heel lockdown is quite good. Really my only complaint here, and it's kind of, a compromise rather than a true issue with the construction of the boot is that the material is so thin and is a little bit lacking in structure that the responsiveness could be a little bit better than what it is not to say that it's bad but when compared to something like a mercurial vapor 13 elite it's just not necessarily on the same level but that's what you get for going with a synthetic as thin as these are from a width perspective because of the more traditional design these will be suitable for most foot types even if you do have slightly wider feet just keep in mind that they will have a tight wrap around your foot and as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing this pair in a size 10 US because I accidentally ordered the wrong size. I could definitely do with going a half size smaller. And given the fact that this utilizes the exact same speed frame as the current X boots from the Adidas brand, if you are looking to order the X99.1, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. So in conclusion, I have to say that I'm actually really happy with the X99.1. They took what is realistically a concept in the 99 gram Addy Zero and they've turned it into what is legitimately a great pair of football boots and actually a speed boot that I think is better than the brand's current offerings in the X19.1 and the X19 Plus. The X19.1 actually being my personal favorite boot from the Adidas brand right now. It combines the elements 
from those two models and also kind of throws in some old school F50 vibes. And the end result is a product that just feels really, really good. And I think most importantly, doesn't feel like any other speed boot that is currently available. The fact that this boot is a thin synthetic and not a knitted upper really sets it apart from the crowd right now. And at $250, obviously not cheap. It's actually cheaper and on par exactly with the also very good Nike Mercurial Vapor 13 Elite. Is it objectively better than the Vapor? Definitely not not but if you're into that old school speed boot style thin synthetics rather than sock boots i think you're really really gonna like the x99.1 anyways guys that's it for this one hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to support it with a like again if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself only available for a limited time so get them before they're gone you can click the first link down below that's going to take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive sr4u coupon codes to pick these up below their normal 250 dollars retail price if you have any questions as as always, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.